Hey everybody, it's Lavender Town. And today I was sponsored by Genshin Impact, which is an amazing open world action RPG that you can play um, online, cross-platform, or the single player campaign. I have been absolutely loving it lately. I love the full voice acting and the beautiful visuals, and I also am really obsessed with the cooking mini game. You guys know how I feel about any game that lets you do cooking in it. I don't know why, it just really appeals to me. Um, but anyway, I digress. The point of this video is I wanted to use their gotcha system. Um, which gives you randomly selected weapons and characters and basically any character that I get I'm going to draw so let's get into it Okay, so I bought 10 wishes and hopefully one of these will be a character. I know when you buy 10, uh, you get guaranteed at least one four star item, um, but the majority of the items are probably going to be weapons like these, which is really good because I just started playing, so I don't have a lot of good weapons yet. Um, and uh, yeah, I hope, I hope I get a character in this first one. I'm really, really excited to start drawing. Um, oh, okay, we got Fischl. I, I actually know about Fischl. She seems really, really cool. I love her like overboard gothic Lolita sort of aesthetic. Um, so it looks like she is kind of a mysterious character. She has some sort of magical eyeball. We love that. Um, and uh, yeah, I guess it's just time to get drawing. So with drawing Fischl, the first thing that really jumped out to me was this super sexy outfit. Um, I couldn't tell at first if that was just the color of the fabric um, in between the panels of her top or if it was actually sheer. Um, I think it is actually sheer, so that's really, that's quite a daring outfit. Um, and I really love her little pigtails, so I'm going to try to exaggerate those. My goal with this is to make sure that my style really comes through on these. I love taking things that are sort of anime styled um, and really like going overboard on the cartoony elements um, just because I think the contrast is really nice. I love anime styled stuff. Um, but I think it can be really fun to sort of see how it would look in like other styles and stuff. So, so Fischl is actually kind of a really cute character. Um, she is actually obsessed with fantasy stories and that's why uh, she often is talking about how she's like a princess who's created whole universes and stuff. She's like maybe a little delusional, but it only makes her more adorable. Um, she is a bow user. So if you play her, you get to do ranged attacks. And she's an Electro character, so her ranged attacks are imbued with Electro energy. All of the characters are actually associated with a different element in Genshin Impact, and hers is Electro, as I said. She also has a raven named Oz that she always travels with. Um, honestly, I just really love her aesthetic. She almost reminds me a little bit of Misa from Death Note. It has this like beautiful long blonde hair and this um, sort of gothic aesthetic. I just think it's really like pleasing to the eye and everything. Um, I wanted to make sure that she looked really sort of like uh, engaging and dynamic because she is certainly in the game. Honestly, her design is so um, delicate and has so many tiny details. I was kind of worried I wouldn't be able to do it justice, um, but overall, I really enjoyed drawing her. I think that she turned out pretty well. Um, her design has so many complicated little details, but I think because the color palette is so harmonious and similar, it really helps it from looking cluttered or overboard. Um, and overall, I just, I really like Fischl. I was honestly really excited when I pulled her. She's the first character that I've ever um, gotten from a wish, so I was really excited. All right, so I'm gonna do another 10 wishes. Let's see what we get. Um, uh, like I said, sometimes you can get no characters, sometimes you can get two, so here's hoping that we get at least one. Um, ooh, that bow will be good for Fischl. Oh my gosh, Noelle! Oh my gosh, wait, she's so cute. Hold on, I gotta go through all the weapons. All right, so out of these 10, we did get Noelle, lucky lucky. Noelle's backstory is really cute. She's basically a maid for knights, but she really wants to be a knight herself, um, and I think that that's a really cute backstory. Um, I also really love her design. I like her white hair, and she's so cute and shy. Um, I'm really intimidated by all the ruffles that are on her design, but I'm looking forward to tackling them, um, as well as that cool sort of arm piece that's on one side of her uniform. Um, so with drawing Noelle, I really wanted to focus on that 
that very sweet, the demure sort of like shy expression that she shows sometimes when you're in the menu with her. Um, I wanted to make sure that that really came across. Um, so I sort of copied that like downturned look up um, kind of expression. I just thought it was super, super cute. And immediately I started tackling all of those frills and many, many different layers. So she essentially has like a classic maid outfit on, um, but then she has tons and tons of armor on over top, as well as a very cute little braid that crosses across her um, bangs and a little rose. Um, so I really wanted to make sure that her design was accurate. Despite her small frame, she fights with a claymore, um, which is great because I was getting a lot of big swords um, in the wishes, so I'm very excited to uh, get her a better weapon. Um, and uh, overall, her character design has a lot of nice sort of colors in it. Um, I like that it's not as homogenous as Fischl's, just for, you know, <laughs> for it to be different um, and it has a lot of white black and red um, which I guess makes sense with her maid outfit uh, she also has a lot of silver accents with her hair and her um, armor pieces her whole legs are covered in armor which is really cool um, it almost kind of makes her look like a robot I know she's not but it's still kind of neat um, and uh, her element that she is associated with is geo which is like earth um, and uh, she works really well as sort of a defensive character. She can make a shield for herself um, and her allies, which is pretty neat. Um, I haven't gotten to play with her as much yet, but she genuinely seems like quite a fun character. Um, I was really excited to get her because I kept seeing her on the like beginner's wish um, page when you first start playing Genshin Impact and I thought she was so cute, so I was really felt lucky that I managed to nab her. Despite all the details, I feel like Noelle transferred to my style. Um, better than others maybe? Let me know what you think of the transition in the comments. Okay, so for my next uh, set of 10 wishes that I bought, I actually didn't end up getting a character, so I'm gonna just skip past this one real quick. But I did get a really cool sword called the Bell, which I'm definitely going to equip on Noelle if I can. Okay, so let's do another set of 10 wishes from this farewell uh, pack, or banner, I guess they're called. Um, and for this one, I am really hoping we get a character. I hate to get two weapons only ones in a row. Um, as much as I. Oh! Rosaria! That's. She, she's the character I'm most excited about because she's brand new and also she has like a really um, interesting personality. I already read up on her a little bit because she's the new character. Um, she basically is a nun, but she's like super mysterious. She does a lot of stuff that you wouldn't typically expect a nun to do, like smoking in the back pews and not showing up. I thought that sounded like a really fascinating- oh! Wait, did I get her twice? What? That's crazy! Okay, so um, <laughs> I got two Rosarias in this pack. I'm very excited to draw her. I love her um, habit sort of thing that she has coming off the back of her head. I just think it looks so cool. And I also love that her face is a little unusual. She looks a little like disaffected and aloof. Uh, she uses cryo power, so she is... Um, very much a, a cold girl, um, which is great too, because then she's none of my characters so far are overlapping elements wise, so I could put them all in the same party, I guess. Um, for drawing Rosaria, I was really, really excited just to lean into her real like personality. There's a lot of characters who are really like energetic and outgoing, um, so it's kind of fun to do a sort of pulled back and aloof character. I really have a soft spot for um, girl characters like this, and I just really love her design. I don't know, there's something about like changing and like making high fantasy something as formal as a nun's habit that just really appeals to the character designer in me. I find her design really dramatic in a way that I like a lot. I like how the inside of her habit is sort of this like blood red color and then the outside is very very dark. Um, she also has a lot of fine detailing on her dress and I think her dress the way that it sort of cuts up um, is very like <laughs> 
<laughs> very alluring and very cool looking. Um, she also has this little highlight of red on her bangs and I made that pop out even more than it does in the actual character design uh, just because this is a more cartoony style that I'm applying and I thought it would look interesting um, at least. And I even tried to change like the iris of her eye a little bit. I tried to make it into sort of a cross shape. Um, like I said, she's not the most devout um, of the nuns. Uh, apparently she gets caught smoking in the back pews um, when she's, you know, supposed to be uh, at the church being, being a nun. Um, she also is wearing fishnets, which is a wild choice for a nun. And honestly, I just love that for her. She's Honestly, she's an iconic character and I'm so glad that I got her. She was the only one that I was really, really, really hoping to get. Um, so I'm really happy that I got two in one pack. Like, what are the chances of that? I'm also really glad I got her just for the ensemble at the end because both Noelle and Fischl are relatively petite and I think that Rosaria's more intimidating um, height is going to make for a much better sort of end shot. Um, I don't know who I'll get last, but <laughs> no matter what, as long as I put Rosaria in the center, it's going to be a, a nice little ensemble, I think. Um, yeah, Rosaria's my favorite. I don't know if you guys can tell that, but I'm obsessed with her and I always play with her out now. Okay, this will have to be the last one because I'm running dangerously low on Prima Gems, but um, I'm really hoping to get another new character. I haven't had any dupes yet, um, unless you count the two Rosarias I got in it. Hey, Barbara! Okay, wait. She's so cute. Her her thing is like music, I know. I think she's like an idol. Um, that's really exciting. I really like her little uh, her little curls. Um, I'm very excited to draw her. Oh, I feel so bad. I was I was interrupting her song. <laughs> okay, so she's definitely a singer. Um, Barbara is a really cute character design. I like the sort of like sailory color palette. I feel like that's going to work really well. And anytime there's an interesting hairstyle like this that I can really exaggerate, I always get very excited. The cartoonist part of me that loves to exaggerate. Um, just, I, I don't know. I always like that. Um, so, uh, her outfit has a couple different interesting layers to it. It's definitely not as complex as like Noelle's, um, but I definitely had to really keep track of her skirt in particular. There's a lot of layering down there and some sort of duplicating patterns. I really wanted to make sure that she looked really open and cheerful, especially right after drawing Rosaria. I definitely wanted her to have a completely different vibe because the character of Barbara could not be more different. Um, she is really uh, open-hearted and sweet and just wants to make everyone smile. Um, so I really wanted that to sort of come across in both her pose and her facial expression. Barbara's more of a healing class. She can do a lot of healing and she's also associated with the element of water. Um, and again, I can't believe how lucky I am that none of the elements of the girls that I picked uh, ended up like, you know, overlapping with each other because now I can essentially make them all one big team. I don't actually know if that would necessarily make a good team. If you're a seasoned Genshin player, please let me know what you think of my team down in the comments. Um, again, for anyone who's forgotten, it's Noelle, Barbara, Rosaria, and uh, Fischl. <laughs> a lot of, uh, lot of really cute girls, <laughs> just the way that I would prefer. Uh, though I do really like playing Kaya, who's one of the guys that you can get um, just sort of default through playing the main storyline. Um, so I'm definitely not opposed to having not just a girl squad, but yeah, I really like everyone that I pulled, um, and I really love that they're all, you know, kind of using their own different element. Um, and there's even a good mix of like a shielding defensive character like Noelle, a healing character like Barbara, and a more damage dealer like Rosaria. I just think it's kind of a nice coincidence that they ended up sort of all spread out like that. Um, I think Barbara ended up being my favorite drawing personally. I just think her hair turned out extra extra cute. So here's all the girls together. Let me know what you think about seeing these characters in my art style. I hope you guys like it. Let me know also who your favorite Genshin Impact character is. And if you haven't played Genshin Impact before, check the link in the description box. Um, it's free to play and it's really fun, so I highly recommend it. Thank you so much to Genshin Impact for supporting this channel and thank you to you for watching all the way to the end. I'll see you in the next one.
Thank you so much to my patrons, including Rylan Kadaria, Something Super, Deadly Nightshade, Maria Vasquez, Astral Fox Art, Middle Z, Alcapa, Lily Allure, The Expressive Poker Face, Marissi Axolotl, Chris Draws, Kai Kizer, Subaki, Snow White, The Becky, Liliana Hammond, Mia Lavali, Angel File, Cutie Pie, Nicole Ludwak, Nicolette Queen, Rainwater Pearls, Ice Cream Pal, Lion, Laria Louie, Nora Cornelson, Cola, Rachel Singh, Yaboy ST, JJ Jade, and of course, blah, 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 blah. 